some tips, tricks on an engine swap timing chain issue on 07 through 09 Cadillac CTS. This rear wheel drive, we were replacing a 126,000 mile motor with this 55,000 mile motor. Uh, one of the biggest problems these things have is the timing chain and the failures due to the cam phasers and stuff and the oil bleed down or not lack of oil and that's coming from the oil canister lid. Sometimes it doesn't seal so there's no oil and it all drains back so it takes a while for the engine to build up the oil pressure which causes the phasers issues and starvation of oil bottom end and then you have issues like rod knocks. We already replaced the timing chain and it's 10,000 miles ago. It got problems so uh, motors coming out. Uh, one of the things to make sure is when you're going to put the engine back in, this is a rear wheel drive version so you get access to converter bolts through the little passages like through the starter there make sure you run the bolts in all the way but not tight and start each one of them there's six of them if you don't do that and you leave the bolts just started they'll get locked up as the converter gets pulled into the flywheel or the flex plate and it'll lock itself up on these parts inside and you won't be able to rotate the engine without pulling the engine back out so just Make sure that you run them in, you don't have to make them tight, get them all in, then torque them to spec. Um, there are differences on the manifolds. This one here is an 07 manifold, but you can see where the throttle body is on this side. And it's a completely different plug, so you will have to change it. So make sure you get your intake manifold with the engine if you swap it. Uh, another thing to make sure is when you pull the engine, you gotta do the air conditioning compressor. There is a bolt, top, back side of that compressor. Make sure you have the bolt in the compressor still when you go to drop the engine in because you will, that bolt's super long, you won't be able to get it back in there without lifting the motor back up. So make sure you leave that little piece in. Change your thermostat and the water neck. Make sure you do all the gases, clean the surfaces really well. Uh, cam phasers, the seals, usually you want to change them. They're old and they will leak. Change your spark plugs, probably, and then another issue is these valve covers have the PVC system in it. Those need to probably get replaced. They fail, and then you have oil consumption and other issues with the engine. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Comes in and out through normal cherry picker, no big deal. Uh, four and a half hours to pull, uh, about an hour and a half of swapping parts out. So. There you go.